Dreamforce, which is Salesforce's big annual conference in San Francisco, was this week, and our colleague Julia LaRoche was there. She sat down with Salesforce founder and co-CEO Mark Benioff, and they discussed in particular his take on voice tech. Julia is here on the couches, back from SF. Oh my Welcome gosh, back. yeah, I took the red eye. Got, oh my so goodness. So great to be back Tired? on the couches. I'm so tired. Oh. I had four <laughs> shots of espresso this morning. I'm going to get some more. You can't uh, tell you're tired. It's not even 10.30 yet. Fine. <laughs> Our makeup department's amazing, y'all. There you go. <laughs> no, uh, so tell good. us about Benioff. What did he have Look, to say? Oh, well, we talked about a lot of different things. Um, Dreamforce is their huge blowout tech conference. I mean, 171,000 people in San Francisco to take over the city. It's cult-like. An incredible experience. That was my first time going. But yeah, we got to talk to Benioff about a wide range of things. But what was interesting was getting to talk to him about the technology at Salesforce. If you think about the company it started in 1999, was really a, a startup, a disruptor in cloud. And they've gone in so many different areas. They've gone beyond the cloud in the last 21 years. And basically, he said they've found the holy grail for their customers. So take a listen to find out what that is. Well, we all know the kind of four waves of computing are, of course, this whole concept of systems of record, and then we moved into, you know, that's like managing your data, creating, updating your database, systems of engagement, systems of intelligence, the analytics, the business intelligence. But now we're in the fourth wave, which is the single source of truth. That is, when I talk to a company, like one of the customers who are here, like Adidas, Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. Verizon, they knew who I am. They know I'm their customer. If I'm, if they're selling to me, if they're servicing me, they're marketing me. They have a single source of truth. That's a big story here that we've really figured out exactly how to be able to do that for companies in a whole new way. I mean, that's definitely a big deal. And you all are also talking about voice. I imagine voice combined with customer 360, the single source of truth, could have some seriously awesome implications for your customers. What are some of those top takeaways when it comes to voice? Voice is definitely the most important new way to interface with a computer. Here's an example. I'll give it a shot. I, okay, you do it. Hey, Einstein. Hi. What's my forecast? I have good news. Your team won more deals than the same day last year. Your forecast is on track. I predict you will close $11,530,000. Okay, I'll take that. You're ready to take my job. So, Einstein can guide you and help you run your business and connect with your customers in a whole new way. <laughs> okay, so guys, what he's talking about when he's saying single source of truth, this has kind of been this elusive thing for their customers. When you think about that, all the different touch points. Say, for example, I'm interacting with a retailer, I'm interacting with social media, go to this store, that store, go online. Customers actually want the companies and the brands that they interact with to understand the way they interact with that company, uh, to have that single touch point. So what this does is this 360 single source of truth provides those companies all of that information. And then combining that with voice, think about it. If you're um, sales and marketing for a company, if you do all these clicks and interface with the computer, using Einstein's analytics, the AI technology and voice, you can basically speak human to a computer that can run all of the, the data, the information, give you those insights a lot faster and smarter. Mm. Mark Benioff, I'd like to ask him about uh, his purchase of Time Magazine, but that'll be for another day. Another, another day. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Thanks, guys. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.